Okay, we're here to present to you the 2021 Bay Stars. We have three floor plans we want to show you today. Um, first off, with the as with the um, Bay Star Sport, it's the new Ford 2020 chassis with the 7.3 liter V8 engine. All the specs are the same, except this unit has the 22,000 GVWR chassis and the 22 and a half inch tires and wheels. So where the Bay Star Sport has 19 inch. These are 22 and a half inch tires and wheels, and that's applicable to all models of Baystar. So we have three exterior graphics. This is a new exterior design for this year. We have three colors, the Sterling, the Urban, and the Seneca. As you can see, they're all very different. Earth tones here, black, burgundy, and silvers here, and a very tastefully done blue, silver, and gray on this. There are a couple things on the outside I want to show you real quick. First off, the 32-inch exterior entertainment center. Samsung TV is provided with that option. And the new option for the Truma continuous hot water system. This is a big improvement over the six gallon gas electric water heaters, um, which are standard and still do the job, but the Truma continuous hot water is an upgrade and provides some additional benefits. Let's head on inside. With the new Ford chassis, of course, in the cockpit area, we've got the new steering wheel and column. We've got the controls on the wheel for cruise control, as well as a lot of the dash menu interface to toggle through the various information that's available through that system. We've got the optional Excite Dash Radio, which has new graphics this year. Very nicely laid out. That comes with the navigation, Garmin navigation. And then, of course, your rear vision monitor right above it. This floor plan is the 3124. We have the TV located in the front overhead. That's a Samsung TV. And to the right of it in the cabinet is the Bose soundbar provides great sound and Bose uh, requires no explanation. It's the best sound, the best quality in the audio business. So if we come back, we've got optional ottomans here with the, the uh, standard sofa. Great overhead cabinet and then right behind the sofa you've got your dinette booth. We've standardized the heights of the seating, 20 inches above the finished floor, 30 and a half inches for the tabletop, more predictable, more predictable comfort. And then on the door side of the coach, we've got a very, very large kitchen. Something new for this year are the LED lights around this, um, this new suburban gas cooktop. This is a new, uh, this is a new cooktop decorator there. Now now offers three burners. It's a suburban model, replaces the, the Dometic previously offered and we've got these cool LED lights for illumination. Really nice and it's got an electronic ignition, drawers, self-closing drawers as you can see. Find those in a lot of residential homes now. These drawers as well, more storage. Lots of remote controls. And this is the um, optional Whirlpool refrigerator, residential refrigerator. It's been a very popular option as well. It's got the refrigerator down below and the freezer up top. It's got a, a nice maker as well. As we continue on back, we've got the uh, Real nice bathroom area. We've got a large radius shower, vanity. And then we've got a lot of storage here right across or right behind the dinette. Plenty of storage here with slide out boxes for ease of accessibility of the items you might have. These are totally adjustable. You can take a couple of them out if you've got larger cereal boxes or what have you that you need to put in here. You can stagger them at whatever whatever heights that you, you wish to for the items that you need to store. This is a great place to put towels, sheets, pillowcases. 
other items. And then the bedroom in the back has a king size bed, overhead storage above the bed. And then your hanging shirt wardrobe, large dresser with six drawers. And then there's your Samsung TV in the bedroom placed perfectly within viewing distance of uh, laying down in the bed here. So there you have it. This particular, this particular interior in the uh, base star is the sterling interior. It's also got the sterling paint graphics on the outside. And this wood finish is the harbor maple. Harbor maple finish, a nice medium wood tone. All right, now we're going to take you to the 2021 Base Star 3626 model. This is another carryover floor plan that we um, did offer in 2020. A very good seller, longer floor plan, lots of room. Right around the corner this way. This uh, exterior finish is the urban decor that we showed you on the, on the 15th scale. This also is equipped with the exterior entertainment center on the outside. Looks like somebody's actually got a Blu-ray disc in the Blu-ray player. Now you can see a lot of exterior storage here. Again, LED lights on the exterior storage compartments. That's a change and an upgrade for 2021. Let's go on inside. And this happens to be the urban interior with the Arctic maple. This is the finish we were talking about that, um, that was very popular and became the light colored wood choice. Customers loved it, dealers loved it. You all uh, voted with your inventory dollars for this, for this uh, wood finish. You really did like it and uh, so did your customers. This is really a great floor plan. We've got the optional recliners right here across from a sleeper sofa with a what we call the televator which is basically a large TV on a electric motor goes up and down matter of fact we can show you that right here and it's got the Bose sound bar as well for superior sound behind that televator is a window that looks out on, at your patio if you're not using the TV it's always nice to bring more light in Let's take a look at what's going on right outside your door. Very smooth operation. And then the kitchen on the uh, patio side as well with the kitchen window for more visibility. Lots of counter space. Again, we've got that new suburban cooktop with the LED lights. And then this is the table and chairs. This is optional table and chairs. Nice large buffet area here. Um, there's two folding chairs in the back, so you can seat four people comfortably at this location. This is actually the um, combo desk dinette combo. So uh, this can be used as a work area as well. There's this place for you to put your printer, use your laptop. We've got lots of electrical connections here. Nice dry bar area. Not only is it decorative and very attractive, but it's very functional, offers a lot more storage. This flooring here is the optional vinyl flooring, which replaces the, um, the standard rolled vinyl. Very attractive, lays nicely on an angle. Very residential looking. Again, lots of storage in the kitchen. You can see all the drawer space here. This would be the convection microwave oven. This option replaces the oven down below, so you get the convection with the cooktop. As we get back here, look at all that storage space right there. This 3626 is just a real, real nice floor plan and appears to be longer than the uh, 3611. It measures from bumper to bumper. This is your bathroom area here, a nice rectangular shower, large vanity with lots of counter space to put your toothbrush, your shaving cream, your razor, what have you. If I can get right behind you here, 
Across from the bath area, we've got the optional two-piece washer and dryer. That is an option that's available on the 3626. These are Splendid units here, matching. And then we get back to the bedroom where we've got the king bed, the rear window, we've got the Samsung TV, and then again, lots and lots of storage for clothing back here in the bedroom. Again, the um, these are the uh, this is the Urban Decor package, and it's with the Arctic Maple wood finish that was introduced last year. Very popular. Next up, we're going to we're going to look at the uh, new 3811 Baystar wheelchair accessible unit. You won't want to miss this. As we said, we introduced the 3811 base star because the Canyon Star, uh, with the front engine diesel going up in price, we wanted to maintain a price point and a wheelchair accessible gas motorhome that was uh, more affordable and with re within reach of more, more customers in that particular audience. Um, what we do have here, it's a 3811. We do have a, an exterior entertainment center here. Um, this is the wheelchair lift that comes standard. What we do have here as an option is the power door for the wheelchair lift so that if someone were, were by themselves and they wanted to exit the motorhome, they could let themselves out with a key fob, the door would open, and then they could operate the lift itself. This does have the optional Truma continuous hot water system. That is an option. It also has an option for a power cord reel. It's the only Baystar model that has that available for obvious reasons. Somebody's in a wheelchair, they're not going to be able to roll up that, that power cord. It's heavy, it's thick, it's, it's, it's difficult to uh, coil up and put in the luggage compartment from, from a wheelchair. So we've got a power cord reel on this particular model available as an option. Let's go on inside. One of the things that we have here, because you do have people in this coach that tend to be in a wheelchair, we do have a, and again, this is the only Canyon or based our model that has this available. It's the power step cover so that um, we have a flush floor all the way to the, um, all the way to the entry door. Nobody fall in that way. Um, Big roomy area here. Um, we've got a nice spot for the wheelchair to park itself looking forward with a window right next to it. There is an op option in this location to put a fireplace with a televator and have the, tele the TV located right across from the sofa, which is over to this side here. This interior is the Seneca interior. That was the Seneca graphics that we had on the outside, and this is the Calypso maple wood finish. And again, this is the new uh, instrument cr cluster and steering wheel and steering column on the new Ford chassis. We do have the TV in this coach up in the front overhead. And that's because this does not have the fireplace with Televator. Nice roomy um, kitchen area and a specially designed dinette, which is meant for someone in a wheelchair to be able to roll up on the open side here with people seating along the wall there. Makes it easy to roll a wheelchair up and, and enjoy a meal right here at the table with the rest of the family. These are our three uh, interiors for this year. Two of them are carryovers, the Seneca. The Urban we carried down from the Country Star brand in 2020. That would be new in Baystar this year. And then the Sterling would also look familiar to you from last year. Again, cooktop with a convection microwave. As we get toward the back here, we've got the refrigerator, the optional two-piece washer and dryer. And of course, the, the real attraction is the wheelchair lift. As we look back over this way, 
This folds all the way into the coach. The door is power and will uh, we'll come in. David may show that to you in the 4011 Country Star um, when he presents that to you. Also back in the bath area, we have a full roll-in shower for the wheelchair occupant with a fold-down seat as well as a vanity that's, that has no cabinets down below because uh, we want accessibility for the wheelchair occupant to be able to come up to the, uh, the sink here and brush their teeth or do whatever they need to do here. And then we've got a, uh, a new feature here. This is, this is the queen bed. The queen bed's not a, queen, uh, a new feature, but this is a power height adjustable bed so that if anyone that's dealt with anyone or tried to sell a unit to somebody that has a family member in a wheelchair, you'll know that the wheelchairs are of varying heights and transferring the, the wheelchair occupant from the wheelchair onto the bed can be challenging depending on what height it is. This bed will actually adjust up and down to whatever height, I mean obviously there's a limit to it, but it has a wide range of height that it can be set at in order to transfer somebody in a wheelchair from the chair to the bed. So. Uh, a convenient factor, something that customers told us they really wanted. Um, Newmar Engineering figured out a way to deliver this feature. So it is new for this year, and, uh, and we're really very, very excited about it. We do have some storage here. Wardrobe storage here. There's your, two fold, your uh, one folding chair for the table over there. Um, the dinette that we, show, what we showed earlier. And then more storage at the foot of the bed and the TV located across from the foot of bed and then of course the rear window providing more light but still providing privacy in the form of a shade so that's the 3811 base star and we're very excited to have this one in the lineup uh, we think it's really going to offer affordability to folks that want to enjoy the light RV lifestyle and have uh, a member of the family that that happens to be in a wheelchair uh, we've really catered to this market for a lot of years Started with the 3911 Canyon Star about three, four years ago. We offered the 4311 Ventana and Dutch Star. And this year we're introducing two more products with a floor plan dedicated to wheelchair mobility. So we're really proud and very, very pleased to be able to offer that to the public out there. So that's it for the Base Star for 2021.